Hello makers, Christy Barron here with Joyful Art Studio in Northern California and I have a fun project for you today. I am going to be making some cafe curtains and I'm going to be using today the bird and branches. This is a fun big stencil. And then I'm going to use ink to stencil my curtains. It's gonna be super fun. And I want you to let me know where you're watching from. Um, let me know if you've created curtains before and maybe what stencil that you've used. That would be super inspiring to me. I love to see people's creations. Post me a picture and Maker Studio is giving away a bird and branches. So how do you win one of these? They're gonna choose one person that shares or tags three friends. So three shares, three tags, however you like. And then just share the love, share it with, your, with everybody. Give us some sprinkles, some love, so we can bring you more videos and more opportunities to get inspired and make amazing things for your home. So I'm gonna turn my camera down so you can see exactly what I'm doing. And that way you don't miss any steps and we'll get started. We're so glad you're here. Okay, so here we go. So when I remove the stencil for the first time, because this is new and you can get your new one too. Um, I always fold, just a little tip, I fold this little sticky down so that just enough to cover the sticky and then it keeps it flat and doesn't try to stick to my stencil when I put it back in the packaging. So I leave the white in there that gives it some structure for storage. I flip it over and I write back. And this helps me remember which side is the back. So when I, after I wash this, I can clean it up. So I'm going to set it aside. I'm going to bring over my cafe curtain. And these are just some inexpensive cafe curtains from your local department store. I've taken them just out of the package, no pre-treatment necessary. So I know that this is the bottom because it has a shorter hem. The top had the little folded down sewn part for the curtain rod. And um, there's a couple different ways you could go about this. You can see that some of these are, you know, random so that you could cut them out and place them as you wish or, you know, just use a little bit of it. I'm just going to leave it like this just because I kind of like the almost wallpaper pattern of it. And it's a pretty large stencil, so there's a couple different ways you could do it. You one way I like to do these larger ones so that when I pull it off, it's not sticking to itself, is I fold it over on itself in half, and then I will place one half. And I like my stencil to travel off the edges a bit, just like that. I feel like it makes it a little more interesting. So then I can just come here and pull this back and it lays it flat. So that's a fun little tip for doing these larger sticky stencils. So you're not trying to, you know, swing it around and it's sticking to itself. And I'm going to use a little bit of the blue, which is Hush Your Mouth. It is my favorite. 
and I'm just going to come around and kind of put it in places. And I'm also going to use a bit of green. Coming all around. And so obviously this stencil does not fit the whole width, but that's okay. I can do this section and then wash my stencil, bring it back and do the other side. And this kind of will help the colors to blend as I squeegee down, making it not just one flat color, just makes it a little more interesting. So, okay, so I have my squeegee that has a little strip cut off from smaller project and I'm just gonna pull it down, letting it in the edges, I might come in a little bit. I love ink. There are so many things you can do with this ink. Uh, you can paint with it. You can stencil with it, obviously. It just glides like room temperature butter. <laughs> and it just goes through these screens so nicely. And it can be permanent. So, if you are going to be washing these curtains, it probably will be okay, but I do usually recommend maybe heat setting it with an iron just to make sure. But honestly, I have not done that and they've, the things have been okay. Looks like I'll need a little bit more. That's okay, I try to be a little bit um, frugal Placing my ink because it's unlike with the chalk ink or the little tubs of paint, if you get too much out, you can always put the excess back, but you can't put the excess back in these little tubes. So less is more. I always start out with less and can add some more if needed. sure I don't have any white spots okay so it's all spread out nice and clean here we go the big reveal so I am going to pull it up And I just love the way those that blue and the green lay together. And I'm actually going to go ahead and see, this is when it gets tricky. Lay this down and go ahead and do it quickly over here. And I'm gonna have the bird come off the edge over here. Get it stuck on there. Get some ink quickly in this section. but just look at how it's, you know, it's not quite blue, it's not quite green. 
their same value of color and they're very close to each other in the color wheel so it just I feel like it makes the colors more interesting not so flat gives things a little bit of a dimension so what kind of ideas do you have to use with these stencils make sure you tag me or and send me a picture and then remember that maker studio is giving one away so you want to share with three of your friends share tag drop some sprinkles down below help people see this so they can experience these amazing stencils they're just so fun to work with and i love that you can use them over and over and over many different projects okay so i'm going to see pull that up oh that's beautiful so fun i'm gonna go drop this in the water and then i'm gonna be back and we will look at this hanging up in a bit <laughs> 